Hi friends, so in this new video I will talk about some important parameters that used in propagation and transmission signals. Okay, so this parameter is a group delay. So this parameter a lot of person use it but they do not know what does mean group delay. Okay, it is an important factor which can give us an idea about the distortion or degradation. Distortion, okay, distortion or degradation of signals in propagation between input and output of any equipment okay for example if we take antennas or horizon antennas or filters or couplers okay so we uh, we talk about the distortion and degradation of signal between the input and output so if we talk about output in antenna so uh, that mean propagation okay but for filters is between input ports and output ports uh, the same for couplers and others okay so uh, usually uh, group delay is a parameter used a lot of in uh, wideband and uh, ultra wideband communication systems okay such as satellite and radar communication systems which are used for transmitting wideband data okay so this parameter we use is a lot of in wideband and ultra wideband communication for example uh, satellite and radar communication system okay so uh, we can say that group delay uh, is a parameter that give us an indication of the time delay that the signal suffers uh, in proportion to the length of the antenna okay so here we have an example of uh, group delay uh, we have a comparison between HFCs and CST for an antenna so we have the group delay in nanosecond uh, versus frequency okay so what is the best group delay the best group uh, delay is the group delay that has two stable values okay stable values if we have a distortion like that here in 6 gigahertz and 8 gigahertz so here we have a negative effects in our transmission okay so this distortion and degradation of signals and so produce a negative effects on our transmissions signals okay so we need to have a stable group delay so we are here uh, we have here uh, a march of group delay that we can respect it to speak about uh, best group delay so if we have a group delay between uh, 0.5 and a max of 1 nanosecond so we can talk about uh, our equipment that has a uh, good uh, group delay okay so if we have group delay uh, inferior to one nanosecond in our band of interest like this here between two and uh, uh, 12 gigahertz so we can talk about a good uh, group delay but if we have a value uh, superior uh, to one nanosecond so uh, here we have a negative effects on our uh, equipment okay so uh, for this example uh, i will show you how we can put group delay in HFCs for our antenna so our antenna is that so we have a circular radiating element okay with partial ground plan and substrate so we have partial ground plan and radiating element circular radiating element okay so here our antenna is well designed okay as you see so uh, I can go directly to this antenna uh, as parameters okay so results kit model solution data report rectangular plot okay so is parameter I go to its parameter in decibel and I plot it so here we have a coefficient of reflection inferior to 10 decibel between 
uh, between here uh, I think uh, four pound two gigahertz and uh, here uh, eight pound uh, seven uh, gigahertz. Okay, so we can talk about an ultra wide band antenna. Okay, so this antenna is ultra wide band and has ultra wide band characteristic. Okay, so we can uh, plot the group delay for this antenna. So for that, we can go directly to results. Okay, results. Click right. Create model solution data reports, and we go to rectangular plot. Okay. So here we go directly to group delay. Okay, group delay. So we can choose the unity here. So for us, we go directly to decibel unity. And we have here frequency. So we need to plot our group delay versus frequency. So we choose here frequency. Okay. So here, if we choose in insulation, if we choose last adaptive, okay, and we choose here frequency, we go here, we can find just one single frequency. Okay, just one single frequency. So if we choose last adaptive we cannot plot our group delay versus frequency in our band of, of interest between 3 gigahertz and 10 gigahertz for this example of antenna okay so we can go to choose setup adaptive pass adaptive pass so here if we choose frequency we get to show that we have just one single frequency okay one just one single frequency is the center frequency of our antenna okay so we need to shoot sweep you go to solution and you choose sweep if we choose sweep and we go to frequency we can find here all frequency of our band of antennas between 3 gigahertz and 10 gigahertz okay so this is the our band of antennas so we need to plot to display our group delay in our band because we talk about ultra wide band antennas or wide band antennas so we need to plot group delay in our band of antennas so for that we need to go directly to setup sweep here installation and we show frequency and we can find all frequencies so we need uh, to select uh, all values okay we use all values here okay and we plot it so we go to group delay group delay and decibel and frequency sweep so we can find that all frequency are selected okay so and we plot it so here we have our drop delay in this way okay and we can plot it a linear scroll okay drop delay in linear scroll okay frequency all new repairs so here if we plot it like that so here we have the unity is epsilon okay not decibel so for the first case we plot it in decibel but if we need to know it in linear scroll so in second so we plot it in apps unity okay so here we have the unity is second is uh, one pound uh, for example uh, 25 uh, in power wine 10 okay so we talk about second okay so this is our uh, group delay in our band of antennas okay so this is the method used to plot group delay for any equipment in HFCs we go out to results okay click right we go to create model solution that records rectangular plots and we choose here sweep okay to plot our uh, group delay for all frequency of our band of interest okay so we choose group delay if we need to plot it in second directly we choose apps if we need to plot it in decibel we choose decibel 
okay so what do you need but in general we choose in linear squad to plus it in second okay so if you have any question about uh, this parameter or other parameters in HFCS or CST, you can contact us in our channel YouTube by comments or in our Facebook. Okay, see you soon.